fury is growing over Peanut the Squirrel's death after America's most popular critter was seized from his owners. Now the government of New York is being called out for taking pet, for seizing pet squirrels <laughs> and murdering them. I spoke with Peanut's heartbroken owners, Mark and Daniela Longo. You took my animals and my family and you left my house and you killed them. The furry sensation had 700,000 followers on social media and captivated fans worldwide. He was domesticated like a dog. Peanut loved jumping into his owner's arms. He looked adorable dressing up in festive holiday hats, and he also enjoyed holding up fun messages. It was joy and happiness for people to just come on the internet and see a unique animal. But everything changed when state wildlife officials showed up unannounced at Peanut's home in upstate New York, where they seized Peanut and a raccoon named Freddy, and then euthanized them both while testing for rabies. This is their tearful message when they broke the news to their followers. Peanut was the best thing that ever happened to us. <laughs> what is your understanding of what happened here? How and why was Peanut taken from you? I wish I had a full understanding. I haven't been cited. I didn't get a violation. The Department of Environmental Conservation says it was checking out claims of illegally keeping wildlife as pets. They say Peanut was put to sleep after someone involved with the investigation was bitten by the squirrel. The uproar over the Peanut raid and demise is getting picked up by the Trump campaign. Elon Musk declared government overreach kidnapped an orphan squirrel and executed him. J.D. Vance says Donald Trump is fired up. Have you seen the videos of this squirrel? He's like, he's a genius, or he was. The presidential election is tomorrow. Now people are dragging you and what happened to Peanut into this election. At the end of the day, I don't care what your political affiliation is. It's about the people who came here and hurt my family.